Let's take a look at another workflow for publishing our models to BIM 360, but this time we'll look at it from the perspective of people who are collaborating with their teammates and using cloud Revit models to collaborate in the cloud. So let's start by just looking at this diagram. It'll sort of explain an overview of what's going on. Typically, you're working on your computer, and if you've been saving your Revit files as local Revit files, okay, what you need to do is just upload them to BIM 360 Document Management. And within that environment, you can go ahead and like look at the published models. So every time you upload a model, you're essentially publishing a new version. Now, it works a little bit different for people who are using cloud Revit models. In that workflow, you're working on your local computer, and rather than storing local files, what you're doing is syncing to go ahead and post your changes to a cloud version of the Revit model. Now, this cloud version actually just sort of exists on a server. Some people think of it as a central model since it synchronizes all the changes from different teammates who are collaborating together. But you really can't access it through the web interface. You, know, you should always be working through the Revit app to go ahead and make any changes to that cloud Revit model. And when it is time to publish a version of that cloud Revit model, what we're going to do is use a feature within Revit called Publish Latest Version, which will then publish a new version to the BIM 360 Docs interface. So let's just go ahead and take a look at how that works. This one is a cloud Revit model. I've already set it up as a cloud Revit model using the collaboration tool. Okay, now that it's up there in the cloud, I can continue to work on local copies on my computer, okay, making changes, and then as I want to synchronize those changes, I come on up here and say synchronize now. Now when you make changes to this Revit model, for example, oh, since this is a structural model, I will maybe add some new columns down at the first floor level. Say I'm at level one, that's fine. I'll make them vertical columns. We'll be going up to level two. Okay, and I'll place some here. It's kind of outside the model. If I want to synchronize to share those with my teammates so they can also see what I've done, I can choose to collaborate and I will synchronize now. That basically just synchronizes my changes with the cloud Revit model. Okay, so far so good. These changes are now available. If anyone's made any changes in their version of the model, I will download them and I'll see what they are. But let's think about what the difference is between synchronizing and publishing. Because although we've synchronized the cloud Revit model, okay, we haven't yet published those changes. Let me kind of illustrate what I mean. If I come on over to the BIM 360 interface. You'll see that here is the structural file. That structural file is still showing version two. That's the latest published version of the structural file. And if I take a look at it, you'll see that those columns aren't showing up there. And the reason is, although they've been synchronized to the Cloud Revit model, they haven't yet been published. The idea is, as I'm working day in and day out, I'd be making, maybe making an awful lot of changes, and I don't want to publish everything. Sometimes I'm just working with my team and kind of sharing those changes locally, but they're not really ready for public consumption. The idea of publishing is really much more oh, a milestone release, something that you want to share with some consumers. So often we don't publish things moment by moment. We sort of either do that at the end of the day or maybe at the end of the week, whenever we have something that is you know, relatively complete and ready to be shared with a wider audience. So what I need to do is go back over to Revit. Here I am in Revit and we can publish this. Now in a similar fashion to the way it works for the local Revit models, the, you can choose what is published. So what you typically want to do is go to Publish Settings and choose some different views that you want to include in the published set. So we've chosen some specific 3D views and sheet views to include. Okay, you can adjust that. Ultimately, it's important to kind of put the right views in there that you're going to be using for model coordination or that people who are reviewing the model need to see. So you add some views to your published settings, and then when you are ready to publish, what you do is you go to Manage Cloud Models. You find your project. There it is, 220B. It's going to open up and show me a list of the different cloud models that are associated with this uh, project. So here's the structural, here's the architectural. If I want to publish the latest versions of both, I could just click up here and say Publish All. But I'm just going to change and or publish the structural model. So right down here, 
I could relinquish or back up to a version. I'm going to go right here where it says publish the latest. It's going to tell us that we're going to publish those things. And if we have included some published settings, it'll control the views. You can say which views want to be published. I'll say super. Okay, And we can go back to work. That's really all there is to publishing. It's just that you have to be sort of very explicit about doing it. When you do choose to publish the model, it'll take a few minutes for those changes to first get published to the cloud and then for them to show up inside the web interface. But let's go on over there and take a look. Here we are back in BIM 360 Document Management, and you might notice that for the structural model, we now are up to version 3. That's because I've published a new version. I may have already synchronized four or five different times, but I've only published one new version, so it's only incremented by one. What I can do now is take a look at that model. New columns are sitting there out in front of the model because they are part of the published set. I'm ready to kind of share that change with other people. And we can do other things within this BIM 360 interface now to kind of uh, collaborate with other people who are consuming the model. So for example, if we wanted to, we could add oh, a markup to kind of indicate that there are some new changes here and make that available for people. Now what's going to happen is in the markup view, people can return to that markup and sort of see what has been changed. Or a very nice way to approach this is there's a great tool in here for comparing models. Let's show you how that works. If you say compare, and I look at the version 3 of the model versus version 2 of the model, I can choose to compare. And it'll take a look at those different items, and it'll show me here that basically three new items have been added. These three columns are there. I haven't removed anything between the versions, and I didn't modify anything. So that's a great way of, again, just alerting people who are consuming your models to what you've changed between your different publishing releases. So with our models published out there, the next thing we'll turn our attention to is really how we can use these published models to uh, coordinate between several different models.